Hey friends, imagine carrying a heavy backpack filled with rocks, each one representing a grudge, a hurt, or a betrayal. The longer you carry it, the heavier it gets. Now what if I told you that you have the power to drop that weight, right here, right now. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that can transform your life. Something so powerful, it has the ability to free you from the invisible chains of resentment. Forgiveness. You know, forgiveness isn't just a lofty ideal. It's a scientifically backed key to your well-being. And research has shown that holding on to grudges increases your stress levels, raises your blood pressure, and even affects your heart health. And conversely, the act of forgiving has been linked to lower anxiety, depression, and a stronger immune system. So, this isn't just an emotional or spiritual journey. This is about your physical health, too. So, let's dive into the transformative power of forgiveness. Now, forgiveness isn't about condoning what someone else did. It's about freeing yourself from the weight of resentment. You see, studies have shown that holding on to anger and pain harms you, not the person who hurt you. In fact, Harvard researchers have found that chronic anger puts you in a constant fight-or-flight mode, elevating your levels of cortisol, the stress hormone which can lead to health issues such as heart disease, insomnia, and a weakened immune system. You may think you're punishing the person who hurt you by holding on to that grudge, but in reality, the only one suffering is you. So today I'll guide you through the process of forgiveness, not just for others, but for yourself as well. You know, we often forget that self-forgiveness is just as important, if not more so. And studies conducted by the University of California show that people who practice self-compassion and forgiveness tend to have lower levels of anxiety and depression they experience a greater sense of well-being because they're not trapped in cycles of self-criticism or regret. You know, let's release the past and make room for healing, peace, and joy. Forgiveness, according to the research from Stanford University, has been proven to lower blood pressure and reduce symptoms of depression. It's like pressing a reset button in your brain, allowing you to stop replaying past hurts and make space for positivity. Now, forgiveness is not a sign of weakness. It doesn't mean you forget or justify what happened. It means you choose peace over bitterness. The choice isn't just emotional, it's neurological. Studies show that when you forgive, your brain's amygdala, the part responsible for processing negative emotions, becomes less active while your prefrontal cortex, which helps with rational thinking, lights up. This means that by forgiving, you're not letting others get away with it. You're reclaiming your mental clarity and emotional strength. So remember, forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself. When you forgive, you take back power from those who hurt you. Dr. Fred Luskin, a leading researcher on forgiveness, describes it as a decision to stop allowing past events to dictate your future. You allow yourself to heal, to move forward, and to embrace the future with an open heart. Forgiveness literally rewires your brain, creating new neural pathways that foster emotional resilience. So, let's take that first step towards freedom together. You know, as we part today, I want you to reflect on this. Who or what is weighing you down? What resentments are you carrying that no longer serve you? And most importantly, what would your life look like if you let go and would let go of them? You know, remember, the science is clear. When you forgive, you heal. You lower your stress, boost your immune system, and improve your overall mental health. Forgiveness is not just a one-time act but a lifelong journey. And each time you choose it, you grow lighter. Each time you let go, you grow stronger. So 
take a deep breath and decide. Today will be the day that you choose freedom, the freedom to let go, to heal, and embrace a, a brighter, healthier, and more peaceful future. You know, let's make that choice, not just for our hearts, but for our minds and bodies too. Because you know what? If anybody's worth it, you are. And I wanted to share this with you today because I care about you. I want you to be healthy, and I want you to have the most amazing, successful life you can possibly have. It's all up to you. And you know what? If anybody can do it, you can. I believe in you. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I'll be back tomorrow with some more great stuff, and we'll keep walking down this path together. Have a great day.